hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel we are getting ready to head to cancun to celebrate my 35th birthday as a matter of fact the driver should be pulling up any second now so let's go ahead and head to the airport our driver had got our pickup time confused so he arrived about 30 minutes later than he was supposed to but he still got us at the airport at a great time we arrived like maybe a little less than two hours before our plane got ready for takeoff once in this particular aircraft does not have its wi-fi installed quite yet so make sure if you're going to want to watch this thing that you have downloaded on your device thank you <laughs> Look like the driver almost didn't show up. Oh my gosh, guys. But we here and we made it early too. No no issues. So we had a direct flight to Cancun that was a little over three hours. I had already set up our ground transportation to meet us when we got to the airport. Our resort does offer transportation to and from the airport, but I was able to find a uh, transportation that was a little bit cheaper. So yeah, you guys do your research and try to find your own. Sometimes you might work out a little bit better. Anyway, the resort was like maybe 30 minutes or a little bit less from the airport. So it was a quick ride. Close to my Close. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Over the, this is beautiful. Oh my God. Ambience to this place, man. You can tell it's a little bit older. They had a place to dispose of the towels in home. But it's still beautiful. Huh? Like my wife. Yeah, I'm a little lit up there with a little glass. You lying. Pain. No, you're not. I feel good. I'm hungry, though. I know that. You need to find somewhere to uh, eat. This right here is just us coming outside. It's beautiful, Ma. You know, all the different sculptures and stuff, and just everything, dog. This is beautiful. This is definitely an experience. So our room is not ready yet. I don't know if I mentioned that. So we are getting something to eat at Oregano. We're right over here on the balcony with a great little view of the pool and the hoods. He want to clink clink. Every time we want clink clink. Every time? I know that's right. <laughs> Chicken sandwich with some yep. fries. Uh -huh. And my food. I had got the Mexicana pizza and they coming back with the drinks. Our first dessert of the day. Look at what we just saw on our way to check in. Yeah, that's crazy. What the heck? We gotta be on the lookout for stuff like that. <laughs> like you remember the bird when we was at on Jamaica? Mm -hmm. No, I don't remember the bird. Trying to attack us. No, I don't remember that. You were alive. That, that sounds very traumatizing. I probably blacked it out. Did we? No, we were Yeah, there. we gotta go upstairs. Yep. I'm thinking of rum and red bulls. I got that. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Good. Can we get two rum and red bulls? Two what? Rum and red bulls. Rum? Rum. Wait. 
Rebel. Rebel, you had no Rebel. Okay. Can I get Coke? Coke? Rum and Coke. Yeah, that's good. We had no Rebel. <laughs> okay, now that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. You told me Coke? Yes. Uh, Rum and Coke. Rum and Coke? Rum and Coke. Yes. And then, could I get um, tequila? Tequila? Just a shot of anything. So, would you like the white water? Tequila, soda, and uh, lime juice? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They told us to come sit at the bar to wait for the folks to come take us to our room, step on a chalkboard, and get a drink. We're not on our head, like, I think three or four drinks. Hold up, what happened? I know, I already had like three or four drinks. What's wrong with that? You have four more. What's wrong with that? All right, you guys, so we just got the keys to our room. I'm gonna give you guys a quick room tour. So that is the door. You come in from the door and then over to your left. This is where you leave your dirty dishes for like room service and stuff. If y'all hear any background noises, it's them cleaning outside. And then inside these double doors right here, we have the laundry, some robes, and such. And what's in here? Okay, in here is a steamer with some distilled water, a safe, and I'm assuming those are pool towels. And those, that's a scale, and then some slippers. And here is our complimentary mini bar because this is all inclusive. So we got some orange juice in here, got some candy, some Oreos, got bottled water because y'all know you're not supposed to drink the water in Mexico. We got some drinks. Is this root beer? Oh, yes. No, oh, I think this is just regular beer. Okay. Oh, Two different types of beer. Some soda, some orange Fanta. Looks like that is some wine, I'm assuming. Some soda and something else back there. Got some coffee, more water. What's this? Some chips, shot glasses, and then a ice bucket. But we probably won't get no ice because we might get sick off the ice <laughs> if we can't drink the water. But anyway, here is the wine. There is some more liquor. Ooh, rum. I'm gonna run through that rum. We'll do some rum and coke. Y'all already know how I do. <laughs> Oh, they don't got no tequila in there? I ain't even noticed. They got tequila in here. Mexico. 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 All right, so this is the bathroom. We got the double, double vanity situation going on with the hand towels and such. And so they got the door right here leading to the toilet. And then this door is the shower, which... I am very excited about it. Look, both of us can get up in there. We can have a whole party up in there. But anyway, I'm excited about this because when we went to Jamaica, they ain't had no door on the shower and things got really wet. So, yeah, glad we got a shower. Got really, really you know what? Okay, and here is the jacuzzi tub right here in the middle, which is facing the bed. Look at these beautiful columns, you guys. And here is the bed with the tufted headboard, the nightstand, and the little bench right here. Got a little couch situation going on. That's so cute with like the painting. It also has a ceiling fan. Also has a little table with a chair. And then here's the desk with the chair over here. And then look at this big mirror. I ain't even show y'all. That the TV is over there and we put our luggage on that little ledge and then out here we got the suite with the view of the pool if I can figure out how to open this thing y'all know I be acting a little slow sometimes Ooh. a lot the hubby Okay, there we go. So we have a little lounge here with some pillows, a 
table and some chairs so we could just sit out here and eat has a little jacuzzi too look at this view y'all and then we have this Oh my god. Y'all, I am in heaven. This is so beautiful. Alright y'all, so hope he wants to go out and get in the water. So this is my bathing suit. I just got like this simple little one piece. I think it's really cute with the light brown on the top and then the dark brown towards the bottom. And this is actually a skirt, so it has the like little shorts underneath and then it has like the skirt. Then it has this little tie, it comes up a little bit. That thing is ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I think it's cute and classy too, so. And it makes me feel so self-caught. It melts, it makes me feel confident. That's what it is, not self-conscious. It makes me feel confident in my mom bod. <laughs> Stefan and Mammy get down in that lazy river with him. <laughs> yeah, they're swimming with them folks. He had me afloat. I was floating on the float. <laughs> and he was dragging me. Oh my goodness. I know he got a workout. I feel like I helped him out in some kind of way. Nah, I need to work out. I need to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Look at this fountain that is out in front of our room. It's so pretty. The only thing is it's loud as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like golly. Oh look at the little statue. <coughs> Steph and I were saying that like what we love about this resort in um Excellence Oyster Bay, Jamaica is that they stay true to the culture in which the resort is. Oh, they got a it's our anniversary sash. I need it. It's my birthday sash on my uh, door. When I checked in, the lady knew it was my birthday. Why well, didn't get a birthday sash? But yeah, we about to go get something to eat right now. I think we're going to the little sports bar place. I'm trying to find it though. Yeah, I wish there was a map nearby. This looks like where all the action is. Oh, you never noticed the umbrellas before? Look at these umbrellas. They're so beautiful. Uh -huh. Viva Mexico. See it? Okay, there you go. See a little bit. Alright, so they say we have to go through these black doors down here. And that's another stage, I guess, where they will be doing some shows. Just like that's a jewelry store. We gotta go to there tomorrow. Outdoor uh, seating. What well, we gotta go to the drawer store for to uh, get you another wedding band since you left yours. See? You thought you was gonna get you a, a senorita. Beautiful. You're right, because I don't know how to do pool. I don't know how to play pool. You gotta look in the app to see what the menu is. Nobody is in here. I didn't know if they was open. I was like, uh, are y'all open for service? I'm like, yeah, see, we're in, um, look at the app. Like, order from the app. I was like, okay. With some wings. Wings are fast. Gotta get my little birthday pick in. <laughs> I don't went to them people's sports bar. Oh, this is the fitness center. I don't went to them people's sports bar and ate and drank. 
Thank you. Oh, oh excuse me. Thank you. Glad to see you back. <laughs> so, hubby is on his fitness kit and he wants to check out the gym. So, let me show y'all the gym. Oh, we up for this. Yeah, okay. You don't think I am? You might. <laughs> Dang, they got enough uh, stuff in here for everybody. What you trying to say? I need to get on the treadmill. There it is, the only thing I'll probably get on. They got your bike too. Uh-huh. It's cool. And then they got locker rooms back over there too. It's just beautiful. Try and look for a photo moment. Oh, maybe if I sit in one of these chairs. We are heading to the mariachi event that they're having. That I showed y'all they were setting up for earlier. Plaza Azul. Look at this beautiful view that we have as we're walking back to the room. The pool is lit. Oh, look at the huts. So beautiful. So we had an amazing dinner, amazing conversation with other couples that were seated with us. Mm -hmm. But me and Steph, we tired. We need a little nap mm -hmm. before we even think about engaging in whatever other activities they got going on tonight so we headed back to the room good morning you guys i woke up a year older today is my 35th birthday oh, feeling so blessed y'all won't even guess what time me and steph went to sleep last night around eight something <laughs> last night See, what had happened was we left the festivities, but we was like, all right, we're going to take a little nap, and then we're going to pop back out for the little show that they having at 930. We ain't make it, y'all. Well, we woke up maybe like 15 minutes. Was it 30 minutes or 15 minutes before the show? Yo, 15 minutes, man. We, yeah. we was out. Yeah. We, we was tired. <laughs> and hubby was like, uh, do you, do you still want to go? I was like, man, look, I'm tired. I was sleeping good. I was up after we woke up, but no. Yeah, before me. Before that, I ain't going to lie. That nobody woke us up. We didn't get that knock at the door. I'd been gone. Oh, somebody knocked at the door? Yeah. Room service. Not room service, but um, to see if we needed anything for the room. Really? Yeah. Oh, I ain't know a thing. I just thought you just woke up, I, cause you know, I, you know, you'd be having like seven million alarms or whatever. So I was like, oh, okay. At night though, Stefan, you had alarms all throughout the day. Yeah, you would. If we said we was going to the show, you probably would have set an alarm. Like, okay, if you knew we was gonna take a nap, don't act like you're not responsible. Uh, I, I, you right, you right. We just ordered some room service, um, so hopefully that should be coming soon. A lot of like food service and stuff here takes a while, which we understand because they got they have so many guests. But um, yeah, 
I'm hungry. Um, apparently, they don't make a big fuss of like birthdays and stuff. This particular excellence resort is more focused on like anniversaries and like I guess maybe even like bachelor bachelorette parties and especially weddings which I found that kind of odd because like in Jamaica they make a whole big thing you know about your birthday they decorate your room and stuff and so I was looking forward to that happening here but they don't do that here so that's something to consider if you are thinking about coming to this resort for your birthday and you were wanting something like that so room service just arrived at Steph waffle that looks good our omelet coffee on the side with some toast and i ordered some lemon juice so we're about to enjoy this view and eat our breakfast so we just finished um eating breakfast and i took some of the liquor from on top of the mini bar and I put it inside the refrigerator so it could get cold. Matter of fact, I need to turn on the AC because I think no, nah, because we gotta open the door so but anyway. Are we going out there? We probably are gonna open the door soon so it ain't really no point but um we just got some glasses of this Don Silvestre Sauvignon Blanc. So we're about to sip on this. Long. And then I was trying to ask hubby. I was like, yeah, you remember my birthday tradition? I gotta do my birthday tradition. Do you know what that is? And he got distracted and started talking about like different ideas he got for like this video and shoots hey, and stuff. Hey, hey, it's not for the world to see neither. What are you talking about? <laughs> it is nothing like that, okay? I am a good, wholesome Christian lady. I'm a whole mom out here. Like, don't play with me. But anyway, my birthday tradition. I'm going to ask you again. Do you know what my birthday tradition is? Yeah. What is it? We take a bowl. Um... The toast. It ain't got nothing to do with no um, alcohol stuff on it. That's probably your birthday tradition. That's about my <laughs> birthday tradition. We say happy birthday? No, but yes, you were the first <laughs> to wish me happy birthday today. But no, what's my birthday tradition? But me to say I love you? I'm, you <laughs> you just struck out too many times. It's to listen to my grandma voicemail where she wished me um, happy birthday for the last time before she you passed. You at least gave me a hint. Step on, we do this we, every we year. We got a lot of birthday traditions. We we always do this, and I always include it in my birthday vlogs. You're right. All right, so it's because I've been drinking a little bit. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead. That's what I blame it on. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and play this voicemail for my grandma to me, wishing me a, a happy birthday. Let me hold the camera. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Muna. Happy birthday to you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you, Mona. May God bless you. I love you. I hope you have a happy day. I did not know whether you were going to work or not. <laughs> well, yeah, that's an old uh, voicemail from 2018. My grandma used to wish me on. Um... Woo, chill. <laughs> but yeah, so it's very important to me that I always keep that and play that because that was our tradition. She used to sing me. Happy birthday every year, so. Let the festivities begin! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Bats ain't play. <laughs> she loved herself Simona. That was my nickname that she had for me. <laughs> <laughs> About to be on the, I wanna say third shot. I think that's a shot right there. That might be a double shot. I don't know. I asked Tish. But yeah. Salute. Good. Look at my sophisticado wife. Yeah, hubby said I'm going to be too hot in this, which I agree, so. 
gonna have to switch up the outfit. Let's look at that thing. Hold up. Do the little um Jesus stance again. <laughs> anyway, I was gonna like tuck one hand to let it like hang or whatever and then like show my little bralette that I got but it's still like too hot to wear it so I'll find something else. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we keeping that in. Oh, my neck. My baby want a mixed strength. So, I don't know what I'm about to mix, but I know before we um, mix that drink, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my next shot. What we on bay for? Mm. And what time is it? 10.13. 10.13. We should've got started earlier than this, bay. We walked around the pool area that was on the other side of the resort and it was so beautiful we had a lot of great weather during this vacation that's one thing that i am very grateful for we headed down into the beach and the white sand and everything oh my gosh it was just so beautiful so many perfect opportunities for pictures i could just stay out there all day even had a station out there where you could get a massage if you wanted to like set up a romantic couples massage or something like that they had that and over across this mountain of sand is an area where you could rent boats to go out um, kayaking and stuff and there's a pier I think people get married off of that pier and here hubby and I are going over to the area to try to see how much it would cost to take a ride out on a catamaran because we had heard a couple say that they did the catamaran ride and they loved it we didn't get a chance to do that this trip but we did check out the activities board we could also check out the app and see what activities they have going on you know each day but they also have it out on this board which is really nice We decided to locate the gift shop and so we took a look inside and we saw a few things that you know really caught our eye but nothing that we were really like oh we have to purchase this and so we were getting ready to walk out of the gift shop and um one of the employees she mentioned to us that it they actually have a second floor we was like oh really so she was telling us how to get to the elevator and um go up to the next floor so we're taking the elevator up to the second floor of the gift shop because looking for uh shot glasses we are speaking chinese it sounds like <laughs> Y'all, like, we exploring today. We're just seeing a whole bunch of different areas that are just, like, gorgeous. Check it out. These Chris these are Christmas ornaments. They are so beautiful. Look at these. Like
Look at the bird on this joint. I'm really, really fascinated by this. Oh, man. Look at these. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Me of a movie we saw as a kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what is the movie called? With the guitar? Yeah. The shot glasses, y'all. You know this is my section right here. Every time we go somewhere new, we gotta get the shot glass. Look, they got the sets. <gasps> we decided to have lunch at one of the restaurants that's located right there on the beach so it's outdoors and it has a buffet or you can order straight from the menu the birthday girl the birthday girl <laughs> how you feel i feel great you feel younger yes, I feel 25. <laughs> <laughs> let's act like you're thin i'm playing <laughs> Tish, tell the people why you super salty. You done made a friend. I made a friend? We gonna make him our pet? He seems cool. He seems really cool. He just be chilling. Look at him. Or her. I like it. Don't move around too much. Make a mess. <laughs> Stand directly into it. Say happy birthday to a real one. A real pretty birthday. You real beautiful today. Why you keep saying the word pretty? Alright, my chicken quesadilla. Happy food. Y'all, shout out to Mr. Make It Happen, aka Hubby. This was, I think I told y'all earlier, they don't do, you know, much for birthdays, but he got them to give me a happy birthday cake. Look at this. Oh, thanks, hubby. No, no problem. I'm glad we came back when we did because it would have been um, melted, right? Mm hmm This is actually chocolate. They put happy birthday on the chocolate with the... With the emblem for the uh, mm -hmm. resort. Wait, he got on trunks. Yeah, you're not naked. I feel naked. This is cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hubby sang me happy birthday off camera. Happy birthday to, to you. Me. Happy birthday. Oh, um, remember she asked me what uh, my favorite, somebody asked me what my favorite cake was. I said chocolate or something. Who asked me that? Was it the lady at check-in? It might have been a woman at the desk. Oh, this is good. With the raspberry on top. It's chocolate. You want to taste? Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. See, they're trying to get me fat. I told you, we're going to um, gain like 20 pounds on this vacation. <coughs> mm, this is so good, y'all. Hubby just slid the glass off. And it's like a little plate. Little wooden box with like the cake inside. Sean. Hmm? Yeah. I showed him kind of. This is perfect. I got me a little birthday cake. For my birthday. She brought candles, but I didn't know how that was going to be on the, in the luggage. Mm -hmm. I didn't want them to. And I can't, couldn't bring any lighters in that anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is great. Oh, I'm going to thank them. Even though I didn't get my little birthday ribbon on the door, it's still good. At least I got something. This is nice. Mm -mm -mm. Hubby woke up this morning. He was like, I'm going downstairs to the lobby. Trying to figure out what they can do for you. So yeah, we need to figure something out. <laughs> I had just came in here to get ready to take my nap too. And hubby went out to the swim up bar. Got us some more mojitos. And then I look. I said, like, hold up. They ain't tell us nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know we didn't even know this was in here. They ain't leave no note. Right. Didn't leave nothing. Mm. This has definitely been an amazing birthday. 
super amazing. Me getting ready to whip Tisha ass and foosball. table tennis but round two of me whipping Tish ass She whooped my ass. <laughs> you wanna play again? decided to find another spot out on the beach because the pool was very crowded you got to get there early in the morning to try to like reserve a little place to sit down and stuff so you know it's more private out here on the beach anyway so it wasn't so bad and then you can order drinks and you know different little snacks and stuff right here on the beach so it was perfect and then you know I like that we were spaced out from other people and this is a perfect spot to like read or listen to music and like take a little nap but just remember to reapply your sunscreen <laughs> so later on that night we headed over to lobster house to um eat dinner for my birthday we did have a little bit of a wait i think it was maybe like 30 to 45 minutes so they just put our room number and our name down and then we had to come back and check to see if our table was ready and we noticed that we had to do that with a lot of the restaurants but it was okay because it seems that you know time flies by so yeah we were finally able to be seated Birthday girl. <laughs> you ready to eat for an appetizer stefan got some octopus i believe that is and then i had some scallops with like some tangerines or like some little baby oranges on top and some onions it was all very tasty and then for our main course stefan got the surf and turf with the lobster mashed potatoes steak and some vegetables over there on the side they plated this really nice it looked like something off food network 
and then here is my plate I just got the lobster tail with some melted butter and some mashed potatoes it was so yummy I wish the portions were bigger but honestly we were full like there was never a day during this vacation where we were hungry after dinner we caught the tail end of the rock show before heading to the silent party different channel we got red we got blue and we got green okay on the other side we got a little row that's your row and that's the volume bottom okay it's a little row just roll down to more volume or roll up to less volume okay okie dokie now everybody welcome to our silent disco this is party time on us as you can see me and Stefan we mainly stuck with the red uh, station it was playing all our um, hip-hop joints every now and then we switched to like the blue and green station but i'm telling you the dj had us rocking i was doing my little cute little dance in my little chair or whatever wasn't buzzed enough to get out on the dance floor but i had a great time good morning you guys so today is our last full day in mexico i don't think i checked back in with y'all last night we enjoyed the silent party i was telling my husband that i've always wanted to go to a silent party so that was really cool you know having on the headphones and being able to like switch to different stations to listen to like different music and everybody vibing out doing their own thing so yeah, after the silent party, we just came back to the room, chilled out, and went to bed. I don't think we did nothing else. And then um, this morning, we ordered room ser service again for breakfast. And this time, it didn't take as long to get here, so that was good. And um, the concierge, the front desk people, they called and checked in on us and uh, made sure that we got our arrangements for like in the morning when we headed to the airport they told us what time the people gonna come up and get our bags and everything so yeah we were supposed to get up this morning and go to what were we supposed to do babe oh the rifle they had like a little rifle uh shooting thing i wanted to do that but I was sad, so you know, we've just been taking our time getting ready this morning, just took our showers, got dressed, and now we're ready to start our day. We're thinking about maybe going to like their little crafts uh, event they got going on a little bit later, but I don't know, whatever we do, you know, I'm going to film it, so come on, let's explore Mexico together. Oh, I should kind of like, y'all have seen my little outfit, I was going to show you my outfit, but I don't feel like putting the camera down and y'all seeing um how messy our room is right now but look at this i got a little cute little cutout shirt and everything y'all gonna see y'all gonna see we spent some more time on the beach i missed the earlier activities that i wanted to do but that was fine we just drank our mojitos and we were also taking some mexican candy shots i did want to try their coconut um activity that they were having later in that day to my understanding it was going to be like a coconut carving type of class um come to find out they just carved the coconuts for us and made us drinks just to finish and then we can go and enjoy a coco loco <laughs> this is a video <laughs> Here's some more beautiful footage of the beach. It looks like that was like seaweed or something that was washing up on shore. They had tractors that was coming and like, um, I think they were like scooping it up or flattening it out, but it was beautiful. You could get into the water if you wanted to. They had it roped off, so you ain't go too far now because you know, they, I ain't seen no lifeguards. <laughs> But yeah, the water was feeling really good. It was all just so beautiful. Man, this is really trying playing, man. Y'all see these coconuts? We need to try to shake that tree so we can get the coconuts. It might be a mission. 
that me and Tish might be on. Ain't that right, baby? Nobody can hear me over the wind. <laughs> Decided to do room service for lunch. So we got some hummus. We both got the salmon. And then I got some chicken fingers and french fries. Some honey mustard. Mm -hmm. Y'all are not going to be able to hear me because of this water. But these are the aloe vera plants that they have. And this was an uh, activity that they had. I don't necessarily recall what it was, but yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. I, I love plants and things of that nature. Don't judge me. <laughs> and this is my beautiful wife. In case y'all ain't know, she's trying to get behind that um, pillar. Them, them pants ain't really doing it no justice, but it's all good. It's all good. We gonna work with her. Yes, but look at this place. The festivities. So, this right here is Agave, the restaurant. This right here is Flavor Market. Market. And then, this over here, this is Basmati. And this is the location. All of these areas are beautiful. They have their own type of creativity. They have their own type of just ambiance. And I love it. I love it. Take over spirit. What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So we are getting ready to head out again. This is the final outfit of the day. This is the viral TikTok dress that so many women have been putting on. It's supposed to be very flattering. I chose this color. I feel like I should have chose a different color, but whatever. Get into the earring. So cute. My little necklace. That situation. I'm a, my husband told me to leave my hair down because it's a lot of stuff going on in the back with the dress and all. So I'm gonna definitely get some pictures in this. What are we doing tonight? I think we're looking at a circus. Uh, the band is supposed to be playing then I think they got another DJ session and then of course we got to figure out what we're gonna eat tonight so let's get it started our last hurrah in Mexico Steph been over here getting lit like shot after shot and I know he been mixing white and brown I have. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> and he been trying to do no. it on the low like I ain't been paying attention to him. I ain't been saying nothing, but I've, I've been peeping it. I just ain't been saying nothing. I've been counting. I'm on 17 right now. You on shot 17? You know what, Stephon? Hey. I'm, not taking, I'm not taking care of you. If you, you pass out, you be sick. You just hey, be SOL you. if you're gonna have to rely on me. Because okay. I'm not helping you. This this trip's gonna be about it's me. About, it's all about you, it's, baby. It's I love you, baby. Me. It's all about you. I turned a big thirty-five. Hey, hey. I turned hey. a big thirty-five. Yes, you you do, baby. I got you, baby. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey. <laughs> we, we right here. Yeah. Okay. I hope that we are. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take this food nowhere. I can't. I can't. God damn. God damn! Let's say happy birthday. Not just today, but the whole month. I don't want to hear no music in the background. That's copyright. Just want to say happy birthday to my wife, and I love her. She's beautiful. 
She's so dedicated, not just to me, but her family, her son, just all her loved ones. And she's a very, very great person. All y'all need to know that. And thank you, baby, for everything that you do. I'm blessed to have you. Oh, man. I'm about to show y'all what she looking like. I love you. Love you, too. Can you move the um, jackets out of the way? And your foot flops on the side. Oh, you was recording me, my bad. I don't even know what she doing right now, but it's all good. This is our last night in Cancun. I know we'll have more times here. This probably honestly isn't the last video, but hey, it is what it is. This is a just in case. And just for y'all vision, just for y'all to see. I wish my fellow um, chameleons was out for real, for real, because them Bam Bama's beaches kicking it, mom. Huh? It's beautiful out here. I love it. It's the scenery to swim up. And everything else that just comes with this resort is beautiful. Y'all definitely want to enjoy yourselves if y'all come here. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Enjoy the rest. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Our waiter brought us out some chips and salsa with one of the salsas being very spicy. You need some milk. <laughs> he also took our drink order and I forgot what exactly I asked for but he looked a little puzzled when I asked for it. So he said, you know what, I'm going to get the bartender to make you something special that you'll really like. And so I said, okay, so I'm not sure exactly what this drink had in it it looked like it had um cinnamon i did ask him for a drink with cinnamon so i know i saw a cinnamon stick and it looked like it had some cocoa beads at the top and then some foam i guess this kind of like put me in the sense of like a iced coffee almost and i don't usually like all iced coffee but it was really good and once you got past all of the foam and you got to the bottom of the drink to me, it tasted like it had some alcohol at the bottom of it. So y'all know that's a plus for me. But when I got Hubby to taste it, he said that he didn't taste the alcohol. I said, it got some liquor in it. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really good. Me and Hubby, we ended up ordering the same thing as an appetizer. As you know, the, the pushers are small. So we each got our own appetizers. We ordered these cheese fondues that came with tortillas Husby, hubby liked it i didn't really like it it had like the smoky cast iron skillet taste stuck inside of the cheese and i couldn't do it and then i was asking myself why in the world did i get a cheese appetizer anyway when i know i'm dang near a lactose intolerant my body can't stand it but anyway for dinner hubby got a chicken burrito
burrito and then I got this steak that was so good and the rice oh my god it was so good I think you fixed my camera because I don't see those lines anymore that I was telling you about. Yeah. But um, anyway, you guys, we are up this morning getting ready to leave in a few. We just packed up our bags. The, um, the guys are going to come get the bags shortly. We're actually going to go get some breakfast at one of the restaurants here. Every day so far in the morning, we've been getting room service. So we was like, let's go check out the breakfast buffet. Breakfast. The 
checkout process was smooth. The bill hop came and brought our bags to the front. So we just had our little ticket and we were waiting for our driver to come and pick us up. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but we booked our ground transportation with Riviera Maya. I have found them on TikTok and yes, they were very professional. They were on time, excellent service and their drivers were great usually we get some scary drivers on the road but they were doing very well but yeah here's a look at us going through the gates it was so hard to say goodbye we really did enjoy ourselves i can't lie though those three days were enough for me i was kind of ready to go home and here's a look at the airport i'm starting to realize now that maybe we should start getting our souvenirs from the airport instead of at the hotel and then worrying about fitting it in our luggage and getting past the um, security and all of that once you're in the airport you've already gone through all that stuff so you could just pack your stuff in your suitcase and you don't really have to worry about it because you got space and you can just get right on the plane when you're ready to go hubby he took a little tour around the airport while we were waiting for our plane and it's souvenirs from all over mexico not just cancun they also have like tulum and some other spots in mexico as well we could have picked up some candy coffee some alcohol and other little trinkets like it's more stuff than what we saw when we were actually on our vacation if we're being quite honest so we were just taking mental notes for the next time that we come that yeah we're definitely going to make sure that we get our souvenirs from the airport that seems like the cheat code it was so funny because some of the passengers that were on our flight to Mexico came back on the same flight that we did coming back home to BWI. The flight was very smooth and we had our driver. I don't think I mentioned um, his business name, but it's Kate's Transportation, C-A-T-E-S, Kate's Transportation. Our driver, he was on point. He was tracking the plane. He was sending me emails and text updates to see where we were. So yeah, it was like, as soon as we went through customs, we got out of there and he was waiting for us. So we made it back home, we picked up Lathan, got something to eat, and now we have got showered, bath, and all that. We tired, we ready to go lay it down. But yeah, you guys, thank you for coming along on this birthday trip with me. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.